after thousands of years, we still witness wars, violent conflicts, human suffering. And for hundreds of years, people have been saying that there are ways of solving this, and yet it continues. It has become a little bit less and less over the past 20, 50 years, but looking back on history, it has still been a permanent feature. In studying international relations, you learn just to look beyond the daily news and to see the deeper uh, global structures that are partly explaining both the causes of these conflicts and the outcomes of these conflicts. In the IR program in Nijmegen, you will be forced to think through very clearly like what are the consequences of international relations for all kinds of domestic events and what are the consequences of domestic events for international politics. You also learn through theories, basically, to cut through the complexity and see the deeper structures underlying all these complex issues. I'm doing an internship at Airbase Woensdrecht. And my job as an intern is to teach uh, soldiers of all kinds of ranks about politics and international relations. Um, because uh, when uh, the Dutch soldiers go on a mission abroad, then most of the times it's uh, together with other EU states or UN. And that's why it's important for them to be aware of those organizations and where they stand for. Because those organizations determine where they go, where, uh, why they go there and uh, how. So it's important for them to be aware of that. What I like the most about this internship is that I got a chance to look at the uh, human side of, uh, of international conflict and war. Um, the soldiers tell stories about what they have experienced and it gives me a unique view in the human side of, of the things I'm studying. What you learn is to understand the world, explain the world, but you also learn to take the position of what we might call the stakeholders in such conflicts or situations of cooperation where you try to understand why they do what they do and we will sort of train you in uh, formulating all kind of policy advice for instance to uh, develop scenarios, seek likely solutions and to also to find out how likely or unlikely it is that your stakeholder is capable of pursuing these solutions. The teachers are very good at closing the gap between teacher and the student. Uh, when you're in your bachelor, it's still, you're still well, kind of student, but when you're in your master's, they're like, okay, you're now equal to us. You have to be on the same level. We expect you to bring in your ideas and uh, be, criticize us, be at the same level, be also a political scientist. And uh, so actually they treat you more like a colleague. When you graduate from the IR program in Nijmegen, you will be able to find a job as policy advisor, as a journalist, as an analyst, uh, or if you want to really as a policymaker, uh, with all kinds of uh, employers, be they governments, businesses, NGOs, international organizations, media and so forth. You will be capable of very quickly analyzing uh, who are the major uh, stakeholders involved in a kind of problem, what their interests and preferences are, uh, what they are likely uh, to do so that you can anticipate their movements and you will be able basically therefore to formulate policies or advise your employer on all kinds of policies that uh, may help him or her to promote the interest of the organization or state or association you're working for.